In this screencast, we're going to look at the relationship between frequency and radiance. Let's say we have an item here and we're going to rotate it about a radius r at an angular velocity omega. As it rotates, it will create a circle. So it rotates in this sort of pattern. Now let's say it completed the cycle in one second, or we can say it did one cycle in one second, or one cycle per second. We know that frequency is cycles per second, so if it rotated one cycle per second, it did so at a frequency of one hertz. However, we know that it's rotating at an angular velocity, omega. So omega is the number of radians per second, and that's approximately what one radian would be. But we know that in a full circle, there is two pi radians. So a full cycle in one second means we've done 2 pi radians per second. And we know that omega is equal to radians per second. So I can say that the angular velocity in this case was 2 pi radians per second. Now let's say we rotate the item twice as fast. Okay, So it's going to do two cycles in one second. So the angular velocity will be 2 pi radians per second multiplied by 2 because we've done two cycles in the one second. That would give us 4 pi radians per second. And that would look something like that. Therefore we can see that the angular velocity omega is equal to 2 pi times the frequency. So 2 pi times the frequency is equal to the angular velocity. And that concludes our screencast.